chapter 4 pronouns personal pronouns number gender and case pronouns are words that are used in place of nouns read these sentences examples Saina Nehewal is a sports person Saina plays badminton the racket lying on the table belongs to Saina Nehewal. Instead of using the nouns again and again, we can replace them with pronouns and write. Examples Saina Nehewal is a sports person. She plays badminton. The racket lying on the table is hers. She and hers are pronouns. Examples of pronouns I, he, her, their, them, myself, who, these. Features A pronoun is used in place of a noun. It indicates possession, asks question, points out objects and so on. The noun for which a pronoun stands is called its antecedent. The noun Saina Nehiwal is the antecedent of the pronouns she and hers. Types of pronouns. Pronouns are of many kinds. Pronouns. Personal pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Emphatic pronouns. Relative pronouns. Distributive pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are those pronouns which replace names of persons or things. Example. Seema is a new student. Earlier she was studying in Bangalore. Uses of personal pronouns. They refer to three persons, namely first, second and third person and genders, namely female, male and neuter. First person, the speaker of the sentence. For example, I we. Second person, the person spoken to. For example, you. Third person, the person that the speaker is talking about. For example, he, she, it, they. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are those which show possession or ownership. Example, the book lying here is mine, and those on the table are hers. Here, mine and hers indicate possession, hence they are possessive pronouns. Uses, they indicate possession. Flashback, possessive pronouns are mine, ours, yours, his, hers, and theirs. Demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are words that indicate nouns in a sentence. Examples. This is the pen I was looking for. That is the watch I bought yesterday. Interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns are those that ask questions. Examples. Who is at the door? Whom are you writing to? The following are the interrogative pronouns. Who, whom, whose, what, which. Reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are those which reflect upon or go back to the subject. Examples. He hurt himself accidentally. They will inform you themselves. 
uses of reflexive pronouns. When the subject or object of the verb are the same person or thing. Example, I hurt myself. For emphasis, example, I made the pie myself. Used after verbs with prepositions to clarify which person or thing we are talking about. Example, she is very happy with herself. Not used where people normally perform actions on themselves like washing, combing or dressing, which is a part of their normal routine. Reflexive pronouns are used when someone does something he or she is not expected to do. Example, though she is blind, she cooks food herself. Emphatic pronouns. These are reflective pronouns which are used for emphasis. Example, I myself cook the meal. The forms of emphatic pronouns are same as that of reflexive pronouns. Uses of emphatic pronouns. They are used for emphasizing the nouns. This means that even if they are left out, the sentence would still make sense. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are pronouns used to join a phrase or a clause with another in a sentence. Example, the boy who won the competition is my best friend. Who, whom, whose, which and that are relative pronouns. Sometimes as is also used as a relative pronoun. Uses of relative pronouns. Who and whom are used for persons only. These have the same form, whether they refer to a singular or plural noun, or any noun of masculine, feminine or common gender. Examples. The man who is wearing a pink shirt is my teacher. Singular. The ladies who attended the party were happy. Plural. The boy was blessed by the blind man whom he helped cross the road. Masculine gender. The little girl was guided by the teacher whom she truly admired. Feminine gender. When we use the relative pronoun whom, we have to be careful. Examples. Girls who appreciated the dancers were friendly. The relative pronoun is used as a subject, hence who. People appreciated the dancers whom they met after the show. The relative pronoun is used as object, hence whom. Whose is used for both persons and things. Examples. The chair whose color is blue is mine. The teacher called the students whose average marks were low. The pen whose rib is broken cannot be used now. Which is used for things and animals? Examples. The book which I gave him is lost. The deer which was killed was carried to the village. Uses of that. That is used after both objects and persons. Examples. The watch that I bought last year is not working now. Sometimes we use that after the words all, only, nothing and none. Examples Nothing that he said convinced the judge about his innocence. All that she spoke was relevant to the topic. If a sentence has two nouns, one refers to a person and the other a thing. We should preferably use that. Both the chariot and the lady that could be seen from the window stood there for long. The relative pronoun that is also used after adjectives in the superlative degree. Examples. He is the fastest runner that we have ever seen. She is the most intelligent student that I have ever taught. The relative pronoun what is always used to refer to things. Its antecedent is not expressed. It means that which or the
the thing which. Examples. Sometimes, what cannot be expressed in words must be understood, which means that which. She had purchased what she wanted to buy, means the thing which. The word as is also used occasionally as a relative pronoun when it comes after the word same or sometimes after the word such. Examples. She is such a friend as is needed in troubled times. Her argument is the same as yours. Distributive pronouns. Distributive pronouns denote persons or things taken as single or in groups. Examples. Each of you must be present on the occasion. All of you have been called now. Neither of the pens is writing. Uses of distributive pronouns. They refer to whole amounts, both, all, or to separate items, every, each, either, neither, either, neither, every, each. Both and all are distributive pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns. Reciprocal pronouns refer to pronouns that indicate actions going in one direction and also in the opposite direction. Examples. The teacher scolded Rani and Ritu since they were talking to each other. We should help one another in crisis. Uses of reciprocal pronouns. These are used where a subject constituting two or more people, beings or things has been mentioned in the main clause. Each other and one another are reciprocal pronouns. Each other is used when two people are involved. One another is used when more than two people are involved. Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns are the pronouns that refer to one or more unspecified beings, objects or places. Example. I have bought everything you might need for the journey. Some of the indefinite pronouns are as follows. All, any, another, anybody, anyone, anything. Each, many, no one, none, few, little.